Hi, how to run PDF Imposition DE on the command line. Now, if you go into the actual install folder, which is in by default C Program Files x86 Traction Software PDF Imposition DE, you'll see a file called example.bat. Now, that is a batch script file that you can run. If you uh, right mouse and edit it in Notepad, you can see the example batch script there that does the imposition. Now, if you want to customize this to do your own impos imposition, you can do this. If you go into Help menu, HTML Help, go down and look at running from the command line, it gives you a list of parameters that can be used and a few examples there. So you can you can do any type of processing that the program can program can do in the interface. Um, basically, you set it up how you want. So in this example, I'm going to do say a three up across. I'm going to duplicate each page. So once I've got it set up how I want, I go on File, Save Settings As. Now I'm going to save it to. Um, Test could be anything you want. So what I do then, I change this line here into test. Save. It's going to pick up this source file here. This could be set to anywhere, any path that you want, and then it's going to output to this file here. So I'm going to delete this output from before. So you can see it working. So if you look at the test pages.pdf, see it's just a simple numbers. 1 to 24 for each page. So I'm going to run the script so you can see how it works. So if you run example.bat, see it's run there. It's, it's stopped at the end because it, there's a pause command. If you don't want it to stop, just take that pause command out. If I look down, I can see it's output the PDF here. So this should be three up. So yep, yeah, it's three up across, so exactly as I wanted. All the way down to page 24. So you can set any setting you want and save the setup and then apply it on an individual file or you can do multiple files as well. To do multiple files, you need to set an output folder rather than an output file name. There's an example here. So, to do this, I'm going to create a little folder here. The files that I want to process called in. And I copy that file into there. And I'll copy it again just as an example. So, so you've got two files there. Now I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to put in the full path. So, star.pdf. And I'm going to put quotes around it because the space is in the file name itself. And then for the output. I'm going to do minus F for folder and then I'm going to put it in the same folder but I'm going to have it out. So I'm going to create the out folder ready. So that should be set up right to run. So I've saved it and I go back, double click on it. So now if you go into the out folder, I can see that it's created the two files and both should be three up. So that's three up. And that's three up. So this means you can run the batch script from Windows Task Scheduler to run during the night or from other programs as well, like Batch and Print Pro could do this. So you could two up and then put it into Batch and Print Pro to actually print out all on the fly in real time so give it a try